everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm making kimchi stew today using chicken broth. So hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. We're going to start off with our veggies first. We're going to need three green onions, two of them for the actual stew and one for the garnishing on top. For the first two green onions, I'm just slicing them diagonally and then I'll be using the last green onion, just chopping them up into smaller pieces. My onion happened to be large, so I just used half of one large onion. You'll only really need one medium onion to slice up. You can make this a vegetarian option just by skipping the meat, but if you choose to use it, you can use beef or pork. I just happened to use pork chops because it's what I had, and I just cut them up into thicker chunks because we like it that way. Now just grab your pot and go ahead and add your kimchi juice and a cup of chopped kimchi. Then we're going to go ahead and add our vegetables that we just sliced up earlier, the onions and the green onions and then add your meat of choice to the stew. Now we're going to season our broth by using salt and your sugar or sugar substitute, your tablespoon of red pepper paste and two teaspoons of red pepper flakes. If that's too spicy for you, cut back on that. You don't need to add that much of it. Then go ahead and add your two cups of water and two teaspoons of chicken bouillon chicken stock. I just happen to use the nor seasoning kind because that's what I had. Now all you have to do is just cover it up with the lid, nothing else. Just let it cook and simmer for a while. And while that's cooking, let's get our tofu ready. I'm just going to cut mine out of the package and rinse it off for a bit. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And this is me being extra, okay? You don't need to make the hearts, totally not necessary. Just cut them into squares, that's all you have to do. And now we're just going back to our stew because it's been a few minutes now. And we're going to stir up all of our ingredients and making sure our pork is cooked. Once we have all of that mixed up really well, go ahead and grab your sesame oil and add one teaspoon of sesame oil inside of your pot. Again, you don't need to stir just yet. Just gonna throw it in there and then I'm being extra so I'm placing my hearts in there but you can just dump it in all at once. It's no big deal. Once you have your tofu in there, grab some of the juice and just pour it on top so it can absorb some of that flavor. Close it up, let it simmer for a few more minutes and then this is our final look. Isn't it beautiful? I loved it. Honestly, every time I make this stew, my husband always says it is the best thing he's ever eaten, like I've never made it before. But I make it the exact same way every time. Just serve this with a bowl of rice to complete your meal. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.